Hey gang, welcome back to another video here at Joe Daddy's Garage. This video will be Jade Part 36. Now in Jade Part 35, I showed how I stripped the inside of the doors and treated a little bit of rust that was on the inside as well. And in this video, I want to continue the process. So the plan is to get these in epoxy on the inside of the doors. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that these doors, when they were new at the factory, may not have had any primer on them at all. We've seen rust issues on the bottom, on the outside, and my thinking is that whenever they sprayed these doors, they went straight to paint. Because primer would have helped fill that textured look that's on the inside of the door. And then by the time you added paint, it very well may have kind of concealed those a good bit. So it's just my thought. Somebody else may know more about that. I'm just speculating that they did not have primer. And again, went straight to paint. Now the paint that was on here was, well, the paint that was on the doors when I stripped it off, it had been repainted. At some point there was, you know, more than one layer of paint on here. And at this point what I want to do is go back with an epoxy. I'm going to use PPG epoxy and normally I've been spraying black on the rest of the car before I go to any other build but in this case I'm going to spray with gray. The reason for that is I'm going to top coat the inside of the door with black. I want to paint this black. By using black epoxy I can't really see the spray pattern or anything with the top coat. If I use the gray, well then I can see how much paint I'm putting on in the process. And hopefully I can come up with a good solution. I think I'll end up going with a single stage of some sort. I need to talk to my PPG rep and get some information on that. And other than that, that's what this video is going to be about. But I have one more thing I want to do before I get started on these doors. And that is I want to do a startup. Now if you've been following Grease Rookie Garage, he had been trying to do a weekly startup of his 65 Mustang. Well, I haven't started up Jade in quite some time. So let's see if Jade will start. I know it's going to take some effort because I'm sure the carburetor has dried out and fuel needs to get up there. So let's go crank up Jade. I will point out the battery is a little low, so I do have a jump box on it. And I'm going to crank it over and we'll see what happens.
felt good. That felt good to fire up the Mustang. So let's continue on. At this point, you know, the doors have been stripped down for the most part with the various tools that I showed in the previous video. And all I want to do now is go over to the area that I treated with that 3X chemistry. It says that it's ready to go, you know, for a top coat or a primer. But what I want to do is just knock off any of the film, let's say, that might be on top of that. So I'm just going to use a simple scotch bright and just go over that. And I'm not really trying to get crazy with it. I just want to expose or break loose the film edge, let's say, or the film surface. If there's any left, I'm just kind of being cautious. Other than that, I want to mask off the inner portion of these doors just to keep paint from getting down inside. It's not going to hurt anything. I just don't want to get it on the regulator or anything else. And I want to have you know, a tape line that separates that area. But that's all I'm going to do. And I'll get this masked up and then we'll go on to the next step where I start mixing up primer. Now, of course, this will get wiped down. I'll wipe it down with the um, degreaser to make sure it's clean. I'll wipe it down with a tack cloth to make sure there's no debris. And from there, I'll start spraying. All right, the doors have been wiped down with JX101 wax and grease remover. This, is, of course, is just a spray bottle that I use. And I'm going to be spraying JP375 epoxy primer gray and putting in hardener JP375. And the ratio is 2 to 1. Now, I'm going to try to use my smaller PPS cup. This will mix up about 12 ounces, maybe just a little bit over that. And you know, two to one, obviously, I'll fill it with paint to about eight on the marker and then go to 12. I may go a little bit over because there's a little bit of room above the top. So that's the plan. I will put on a respirator while I'm mixing this.
Now, I'm sure you've seen me spray with this gun before. This is a very cheap, store-bought, nothing special spray gun that came in a kit. I do have a regulator on it and a water separator, and that's about it. So I'm not trying to spray a ton of paint on this. I just want coverage and get it all in one color. So here's a look at the doors after they were sprayed. I think they look fine. I have no issue with them. And the plan now is to get the black sprayed on. I'm not worried about the body color. It's going to be the Gulfstream Aqua that I'm putting on Jade. I just want to get the black done because currently you can top coat the epoxy. In this case, you have three days. So I went to the store and I bought some black, single stage, and I'm going to mask this off because that's where the seal goes. So I'll do that and spray the doors just in that interior area. And the rest will get sprayed later, or at a later date I should say. But So I'm going to prep these for that. and. We'll have a look at the paint as well. All right, so I'm going to use Omni single stage acrylic enamel. Mix ratio is nine to one. And this mix is not readily available. My friend at the paint store uses this on his trucks and cars. So he recommended this to me. So that's the color I'm going to use and We'll have a look at it once it's on the doors. Rather than bore you with the taping process, I thought I would just show you how I taped it off, or how it looks after being taped off. So I went below the flange there that holds the seal, and just followed the normal seal location. So I left the old paper in there, there's nothing wrong with that. I will wipe this down with a tack cloth, make sure there's nothing on it, and then uh, spray it. Okay, as I said, I'm going to be shooting this with single stage, and the mix ratio is 9 to 1. So to make it simple, I'm going to make 5 ounces. So it would be 9 parts of paint to one part of hardener. Ooh, pretty.
Looks like some of it got past. Didn't work quite as well this time. But still. And I should point out, that was already shaken. You know, I didn't show it, but it was already shaken up. So now one part of the hardener. Now, to be honest, I can't say I've ever shot single stage. This could be a new experience. There's the end result. Actually, kind of hard to see, but there you go. There's the sheen. This door is still drying a little bit on that corner, but this one, I think, gives a better indication of how it looks. Really nice satiny sheen to it. It's kind of hard to, you know, get a good light on it, but. Um, I think you, there you go, you get the idea. <laughs> How about that? I'm happy with that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. As I said, I am happy with that. You know, that is the first paint, actual paint, that has gone on to jade. So you'll, you get to see it happen. Now, this paint, again, is Omni, M-A-E is the code number, and, you know, it's a acrylic enamel, single stage, low gloss black. Now, if you use PPG products, that's what you want to look for, I guess. If not, 
find something from your local paint rep and try to replicate it. So I think it looks fantastic. Now I don't know when I'm going to get to putting paint on the rest of the car. There's still things to do. But I wanted to get that part of the door taken care of. And I'm looking forward to putting more of this on the dash, the uh, panels that go around the back seat, you know, get all the trim pieces done up in this particular paint. And I think it's going to look fantastic. Now I still have to work on the right front fender, a little bit of work on the left front fender, and I need to pull the hood back out of the box, get it cleaned up and prepped, and also pull the um, extensions, the headlight buckets or extensions out of wherever I have them, get them stripped down, and get them in epoxy and start that process on those as well. But uh, it's, it's very positive to have something happening to Jade. I know you've all been waiting for videos on Jade, and I, I'd really like to get it together and uh, start driving it, you know? <laughs> so you got to see the, the startup as well, which that was kind of, I was kind of inspired by that because uh, as I mentioned on the Monday, li Monday night live stream, there was a tragedy uh, from my, my friend and neighbor who lives next door. His son was killed in, in a, a rollover accident. Um, really difficult situation and I don't want to get all caught up in that again because it, it's, it, it can really pull at your heart and, and not be good, you know, as far as um, trying, to, trying to talk. <laughs> but I wanted to start up that car. Uh, the young man that died, his name was TJ. And he used to come over here and help me with cars and stuff when he was young. And then, you know, when I was out there on that car, I thought, I want to start this car up because I know TJ would have loved to hear that car run and been excited to be part of that. But that's kind of why I wanted to get the car running. At this point, I want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank everyone that's been using Amazon. That helps out a ton. All of you that have become patrons, I appreciate that very much. If you're interested in t-shirts, they're on Teespring or the below the description box on this video. Check those out. There's various, there's t-shirts, there's some posters. There's a variety of things available if you're interested. But if you're not, that's okay too. It's up to you. I am working on getting hats, uh, another production run of hats. I've talked about it on my live stream as well. I had some made, but the scale was off. And chose the wrong hat so anyway I'm getting that worked on as well so we'll get to that at a future date but that's gonna be the end so again thank you for watching and until next time take care of yourselves see ya okay I as I said, I'm happy with that. His kind of personal formula, but I know you can get very close to it. <sighs> At least you can see the end result. So That's all coming down the road. You know, there's going to be more videos and more stuff to do. Check them out, have a look, and get you one. And mix it up. You know, low gloss, low, 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 low. <laughs>